Um, first of all, welcome to Atlanta. I hope that you all have enjoyed our great Southern hospitality. I thought tonight was so important uh, for the South in general, and I think it really speaks to the fact that people see that Georgia is in play. And I thought that as the Vice President was able to showcase um, where he's been for so many years on the world stage. And it's increasingly important that people remember that and recognize that his leadership and stability is what we need now. We need a leader who is able to come in on day one and restore respect for the United States of America. I think that case was made today by the Vice President and he has reminded um, so many of us on why he is the one to beat Donald Trump. Absolutely. We'll take a couple questions, guys. Mayor, there was a moment tonight where Joe Biden, former Vice President Joe Biden, really spoke in clear terms about the issue of the lock him up chance. And it, it, it seemed that he was, uh, to your point, trying to strike and restore a more presidential tone to the White House. He made a, a comment about tweeting as well. How important will that tone be for whomever becomes the Democratic presidential nominee? I think it's extremely important. Uh, Joe Biden is a statesman. And I think, um, you know, my concern, I look at my, my youngest children who are nine years old, it's my concern that they don't know and will remember a time when the president was a man to be respected. And I am glad that Joe Biden is reminding the nation of that, that we are a country of respect and civility, and he made that case. And just by virtue of who he is, he reminds us of that each and every day. Mayor Rodgers, you are one of the few high-profile Georgia Democrats to step out and endorse someone in the presidential race so far. Why do you think you're one of the few? Well, I think um, probably because I'm pretty brave. And I think that this is not a conventional year. In a conventional year, you wait and you, you lick your finger and you stick it up and you see which way the wind is blowing. We don't have time for that this year. I've known from day one that Joe Biden um, was a strong candidate, but as we got into the course of the campaign, it became increasingly clear to me that he was the strongest candidate and our best chance of beating Donald Trump. And we don't have time to waste. We don't have time to continue to bicker amongst each other. I think the sooner that we consolidate the field, I think uh, the better chance the Democrats will have to take back the White House in 2020. <laughs> There are a couple of surrogates already talking about the moment when former Vice President Joe Biden said that there was only one uh, African-American senator who has supported him. What they're saying, at least what we've been hearing already, is that he forgot. He's forgetful. That's starting to be spun a little bit even here. It's been moments after the debate. What do you all make of that moment and how should people take it? I think it's silly season. I think that it was very clear that he was talking about the first African-American woman. He was there when Kamala Harris was sworn in, so clearly he knows that there's another African-American woman. But when you're talking in one minute and 15 minute sound bites, it's difficult before he even had an opportunity to, to correct himself. Um, or it's, it's in the same way that I'm sitting here struggling for words. <laughs> it happens sometimes, but it's difficult when you're on a stage and people are making assumptions about what it's about. I mean, he was speaking about the first African-American woman senator. He's very clear on who Senator Kamala Harris is. Mayor, 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 African-American women tonight being in Atlanta. You're an African-American uh, city, a major city, and tonight they wanted to highlight African-American women as being the backbone of this party. What does that mean to you? Well, I, I think it speaks volumes that we're here, that we're here on the grounds of Tyler Perry Studios, that we are in the city of Atlanta. And I think that black women um, across the state have shown that we can influence elections. And I was glad to hear that articulated on the stage tonight. About two more questions. Mayor, what's, 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 what's your reaction to Cory Booker's marijuana comment? What, which comment tonight? There was there were so many comments tonight. Well, he, he criticized Joe Biden for his position, what he thought his position was on marijuana. And he said he wondered if he was high. Well, I when mean, uh, again, there there are sound bites. They're speaking in sound bites. So, and I have a great deal of respect for Senator Booker, but uh, he's speaking in sound bites. 
just so in a moment like this, you'll stand here and ask me about it. And I just want to assert on that point um, to underscore the mayor's comments. And speaking in town bites, and Vice President Biden was very clear where he did stand on the issue of marijuana. He came out forcefully and said no one should be in jail for drug use only. He said the marijuana should be decriminalized, that folks' um, his records should be automatically expunged, that it should be rescheduled, and frankly, that it should also be studied so we can know the long-term effects um, that marijuana has. And so I think Vice President Biden put it to rest. And as the mayor said, it's silly season out there. And so folks are, you know, looking for their moment on the debate stage. But we are, we think, to your question earlier, that Vice President Biden had a strong showing on the debate stage tonight. He hit his commander in chief's points and leaned all the way in. And I think the American people saw why he's ready to step into the Oval Office on day one. You said that Georgia's in play. What's it, what's it going to take for a presidential candidate to flip Georgia? I think that we have to have the resources here, and I think we have to register more people to vote, and then we have to turn out and vote. Uh, we have the numbers here to make this state a blue state, so I think with just a, a little more support in this state, I think that it can happen. We saw how close we came just last year. Perfect. Support Thank you. Really effective argument on health care. Pardon? Do you think Vice President Biden made an effective argument on health care, Senator Warren? I, I do. I do. It's very clear where the vice president stands on that. As a part of the Obama-Biden administration, we were able to achieve the Affordable Care Act, and he's talked about his expansion of the Affordable Care Act. I don't think that um, many people are interested in us starting from scratch, and that's essentially what we'll have to do if we follow a Medicare for All plan.